Uh, hi guys, it's Trout One Two Three here, and um, today I'm showing you uh, um, sort of a cheap, uh, reliable, and highly effective uh, fly setup. This is just my standard fly setup. Um, I've got a Shakespeare, uh, Shakespeare Sigma, eight foot six, um, line line rating five, fly rod. Um, uh, the Length of it's 2.5 metres if you work in metres, uh, so the line weight's 5 as I've said, so it's a really good rod, um, tell you what, when you get a fish on it's unreal, like it works brilliantly, so, and I picked it up for about, I think it was about 20, 20, 20 something pounds, so it's, it's quite cheap compared to some rods, so, and then I've got this split cane rod which I use, which I'll show you. So that's that's also good and it's also worth a lot of money because it's a split cane. Um, this is my reel that I use. Um, it's a Shakespeare glider. I'm not sure whether you can see it there with the camera. It's just a sort of standard reel. Um, as I've said, five weight line. So it's um, yeah, just pretty much that. Um, yeah, it's got no uh, braided loop on the end or any line. Um, this is the fly cast I use. Um, the FOG fishing tackle fly casts. Uh, this is a wet fly cast. It's uh, three yards, three and a half pounds. Two. It's got two droppers on it, so I always prefer to have two droppers. So you've got a bit of variation. It's only a pound twenty-five, so can't be bad. That's what I use, and then it's just I use exactly the same for my dry fly. So yeah, um, and it's sort of an update video this as well, because I'm going to be doing a lot of carp fishing because I've got a local lake that I go to and um, we're sort of getting quite successful results out of there on the feeder, so yeah, it's, uh, it's going good and uh, I've really liked my uh, views on my fly fishing videos, so I'll get a lot more of them on next year, wait, ne next season and maybe the back end of this season. If I can get a braided loop for my line, because I I did enjoy fly I do enjoy fly fishing, but it's just it's my sort of first few years of doing it, so it's just a bit sort of a learning curve. So I've not really had the time, and when I've had the time, the river's not been right. So just sort of trial and error. But as I've said, it's going to be a lot of carp fishing videos coming soon. So stay tuned in. I'm just on the feeder rig there, so big fish in there. So it can't be bad. As I say, it's got a really good feel, this rod. Really nice and light. And it's a really good... Um, when you've got a fish on, as, as I've said. So that's about it, really, for this video. So thanks. Keep viewing. God, I've got a bad throat. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.